Method's got it! Unbelievable! Episode 10 of Lil and Ben looks a little bit different. Uh, we've got the next best thing to Lil, that is Kate Hawke, because Lil's feeling a little bit under the weather today. Not sure if she had a big night last night. Kate, any insight there? Uh, perhaps a bit of dodgy beef cheek uh, here in Perth. I don't know, maybe a bit of different food, a bit of different cattle out here. I'm not sure, but yeah, you've got the, the better sidekick here today with you, Ben, so good luck. Very excited. <laughs> we've got a short, sharp podcast because the, the team bus is leaving for the flight in about 10 minutes. We've got makeshift mics, we've got... Uh, a GoPro recording, but that will do the job. A very important guest today. We couldn't have mixed in here in Perth because uh, he's expecting a, a baby. I don't think it's come just yet. So again, the next best thing is his brother, John, uh, also <laughs> our runner, who's had a, a busy couple of days. Firstly, forgot the kit. Uh, how, how did that, that happen? Yeah, big weekend. Um, probably not my best weekend, Ben, you know. You can't be awesome all the time. Um, I've always said that. But uh, yeah, not a great start. Forgot, the, uh, forgot my runner's kit. You got one job and uh, didn't do that quite well. But um, Jesse managed to uh, scramble and find me another kit. So uh, good result there. And then, uh, yeah, first free kick I've given away in three years as runner. So once again, not my finest moment. Johnny, you've had a mare of a weekend. What has yeah, happened to you? Say you've I'm got one sure. job. You've actually got two. Bring the uniform and then stay out of the way. Yeah. The That's true. All right, I've got two jobs. I failed at both of them. <laughs> Um, yeah, two minutes to go and uh, yeah, the ball has been cleared out of the, uh, the Frio half back line and it's come sideways and, and you just know, you can, you can watch by the ball drop, you're like, that's, that's coming towards me, You'd do your best to get out. But uh, they'd already called the, the other runner early in the game, uh, so that was the even after they were looking for it, gave them a reason. You were blaming Matty Gay pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I think that was unwarranted, I think, that, I think it's on me. Libby Birch got into a fight that she's been talking about for the last 24 hours. Um, did you get involved in any sort of um, push and shove out there? I was actually on the bench at this point, but mark my words, if I was out there, I definitely would have got involved. Yeah, Throw I think she had, she copped a bit of uh, treatment from Roxy Rue after she kicked that goal on her. Then, um, yeah, I'm glad the girls got in there and fought it out for her. Straight, Straight from the game, we went to the beach. Um, I certainly wasn't dressed for uh, a walk along Cottesloe <laughs> Beach, but a nice little recovery with the sunset. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. It was, oh, you can't beat a beach recovery. I'd definitely take that over an ice bath. Um, but, yeah, beautiful spot down at Cottesloe. Uh, sun was out, and, yeah, it was a perfect way to end the day. And I think uh, Alyssa Bannon really enjoyed it, just really working on her tuck jumps over the waves. It was a real <laughs> yeah. highlight for me. Bit of a short break. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't too keen on it. Alyssa Bannon I don't think TC even got in the water, so yeah. at least Bannon beat her out on that. She was straight into uni, a lecture at about 6am this morning. Oh, was she? Bannon, so, oh, jeez. Uh, 18 year old things but the night finished very well we went to uh, a director of the club David Robb and his wife Jan's house very nice house did you enjoy that John yeah yeah absolutely yeah, it was beautiful just lovely spot and I think it's only sort of 18 months old the house and they've put yeah plenty of thought and time into it and that's yeah it was, it was a good way to to end the night after the girls very hard fought win yeah another situation that I wasn't expecting is roommates here in Perth. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I didn't pack pyjamas. <laughs> Not ideal when uh, Jesse springs a roommate on us, but uh, so Vin, yeah, Vin got a sight. <laughs> who's, oh, Vinny. Who's yeah, he's got the jackpot. Oh, Vinny. I'm guessing you got Lil? Yeah, yeah, I'm with Lil. Obviously, we live together, so try and keep it as normal as possible. But um, yeah, I think we're actually sleeping in the same bed because I think there's pretty much a palm's width in between our beds. So when, uh, yeah, she wasn't feeling too well, that wasn't the best person no. to be rooming with last night. Getting nice and cozy. Who'd you get, John? Uh, Crowy, for me. Yeah, it's hard to keep us apart. Yeah, that would have been entertaining. Yeah, he's nine foot six, so he probably I was needed say, a slide. His sl knees would barely fit at <laughs> the end of those single beds. I was talking to <laughs> Shay Sloan. She was rooming with Paxi. Paxi has uh, earplugs. Wears them every night of the year. Does she wow. really? Oh, yeah, you find out some interesting things when you, you room with people on away trips. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly do. It's been an eye-opening trip. Gabby Colwyn, the one I should mention. Firstly, she was wearing a face mask of blood yeah. yesterday. That was, yeah. was a great photo on it. AFL photos. But then she also had her own cheer squad. In the crowd, surely she uh, got all the tickets allocated for Melbourne. That was insane. I think she did, yeah. When Jesse asked for our ticket allocations, most of the girls were zero, zero, zero. I was two. My mum and dad were over here. But I think Gabby Colvin took about 20 or 30. So, yeah, she had the full cheer squad going. There were a few parents around. Do your parents make the trip often? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they love it. Um, they're obsessed with the Ds and, yeah, they follow us around everywhere. So, very lucky. And they're good mates with the Mithens, of course. You wouldn't have me and Lil without our parents being friends. So. <laughs> They just follow us around everywhere. That's all part of it. Yeah, John, you're looking forward to being uh, uncle once again in the coming days. Have you got yeah, any update? Yeah, no, no update yet. Um, sort of business as usual at home for, for Mick and Rach. But uh, 
Yeah, yeah very exciting time for them in the, in the coming days. Another boy on the way. And a good opportunity for Jane yesterday. If she's one from one as senior coach. Yeah, huge. Any, things any different with the new coach at the helm? No, I think that's the good thing about our systems that we've got in place and all of our assistant coaches can just step up to the plate when required. Um, apparently on the commentary yesterday, uh, one of the commentators was asked on their final word and she goes, I think Mick has lost his job. So, I don't know, maybe we've got Jano for the rest of the year now. <laughs> Keep your eye on that. <laughs> Importantly, we have qualified for finals. So, uh, exciting times ahead. We've got to take a bus in about four minutes to the airport. So, I'll let you go. Thanks for joining us on what was a different episode of Lil and Ben. Yeah, hopefully everyone enjoyed it. Maybe you'll get me back. Maybe, I've, maybe Lil's out of a job too. And me. <laughs> <laughs>